Hi, I'm Chris Roth, the professional prospector, and this channel is about finding more gold. Now, I've come here today, I've been doing a series of different videos on skills and techniques and secrets of being successful finding nuggets with a metal detector. And today, we're doing another one in that series. Today, I'm going to talk about something that's a little bit, I don't know, esoteric. It's kind of something that people don't think about. And that is being efficient in uh, digging and retrieving a target. Basically how to pinpoint a target quickly and get it out of the ground quickly. And a, a big part of that, like I say, is the pinpointing part of it. I see a lot of guys on videos that, uh, you know, they'll get a target and, um, you know, they'll just go over it over and again. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, there's a target there. Beep, 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 beep. You know, they waste a lot of time. And, uh, uh, or, or they'll go in and it beeps and then maybe the target is here, but they start digging a hole here or they dig a hole here or some other place because they haven't pinpointed it very well. Well, here's something that really is the truth. The guy who's able to get more targets out of the ground is generally the guy who ends up with more gold. So if two guys go out and one guy digs you know, a dozen targets and gets one nugget, the guy who digs two dozen targets will get two nuggets. The guy who's able to really fast and quickly uh, get the gold out of the ground or get the target out of the ground, because you know most targets in, in most places are trash, but he gets the target out of the ground quickly. You know, if you can dig 36, and you know, one twelfth is and these get three nuggets. So honestly, the more time you waste going beep, 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 back and forth over the target, once you once you know that there's a target, there's a lot of times you'll go over a target and it's kind of weak and you've got to get, you know, go and go over it and find out where the target is. So um, today we're gonna do basically two demonstrations. I'm going to do a demonstration here with Mine Lab's Gold Monster 1000. This is a detector I really like and I highly recommend it. If you watch some of my videos, you'd, you'll see that I recommend it. And uh, I also um, I, I put a link to it in, in the description below. So if you want to go on to Amazon and check it out, that's a good place to do it. But first we're going to do this demonstration and I've actually buried uh, a target under this piece of quartz so you can see where the target is by looking at it and in the second segment and third segment I'll focus in more on this quartz so you can see it but I'll give you a demonstration of how I pinpoint a target so I can get it out of the ground quickly and when you practice this and get better at it you'll become a better and more efficient pro more productive prospector okay so we're gonna do a demonstration with the gold monster about pinpointing this now there's different techniques that different guys use and i'm not saying that other techniques are wrong i'm just saying this is how i do it and it works for me and it should work for you too now the coil in the the gold monster is what they call a double d so there's a line of sensitivity that runs right down the middle there's basically a coil going this way and a coil going that way and they overlap with a line in the middle and basically when you go over most targets they'll respond across this line but they can respond up here across the line in the middle across the line in the bottom across the line so when you go over a target as i'm i'm going to do right now you see it, it establishes a line now if you go at it real slow the front of the, the coil will tell you where it is. You can get the same effect on the back of the coil. Strongest across the middle of the coil. But what I do is this establishes a line of where the target is that's going from me to you at the camera. And then I turn 90 degrees, I turn sideways, and go across it again. And you'll see that that establishes a line going this way. So now I've got a line that goes across like this and a line that goes across like that. So you see it marks like an X and in the center is the target. X marks the spot. 
And that's how I use pinpointing with a double D coil to get the target and get it quickly. Now, one of the things too that goes with this is you want to don't dig a gigantic hole, especially when you're using the small coil, you know it's not gonna be a, a, a target two foot down. You dig, a uh, once you've pinpointed it, you can dig a hole just right around there, get it out of the, the hole, um, and, and then into a scoop. And a, a scoop I use, it's another technique for efficiently recovering uh, a target out of a hole. It's, it's getting it in a scoop, and once it's in the scoop, you can pour half in your hand, go over the coil again. If it's in the scoop, you dump that and get another half, and you just go half, 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 half of what you have until you're down to just a tiny few pieces, and then you're looking for, okay, where's the target? Is it a piece of lead? Is it a piece of gold, a piece of iron, or whatever? Uh, a little piece of brass. I've been doing some mine dumps recently and, and found little pieces of brass that are from uh, blasting caps. So uh, the scoop is a handy technique thing for, for getting out uh, stuff fast and this uh, technique of crossing over and then turning, turning the thing at different angles to get an X marks the spot. So now our next segment we're going to look at pinpointing with the SDC 2300, a pulse induction machine that has a mono coil, a very different than a DD type of coil. Okay, so now in this other segment, I'm gonna demonstrate pinpointing with a pulse induction machine. This is the SDC 2300. It's another machine that I recommend, the machine that I use a lot. And uh, it's good at getting small gold. It's good for a PI machine, it does great and uh, I'll put a, re a link to it in the, uh, the description section below this video. And so if you wanna check it out on Amazon, but this is how to do pinpointing with a machine like this. Now, just to talk to you guys about this, this is what's called a mono coil. And the sensitivity on this is around the outer edge. There's no coil in the middle. It's just all the wire is around the outer edge of this. So its sensitivity is on the outer edge. And uh, actually doing a line across like this gives you the maximum sensitivity to small targets. So uh, a lot of times when I'm fishing around, I will try and put a target across the top like that. So it's a, a automatic ground balancing machine. So here's a, a, a check. You'll hear it respond. That's a nice strong target sound. But it doesn't really tell you where you're going. So I stand just like the other one and I will go over it. And it basically gives me the same kind of a line to mark the target. I see a lot of people with these detectors doing things like this. And they, they get, uh, you know, you don't get a good indication of where the target is by just shoving it like this. You have to have a controlled swing. You can see there's only one thing, one signal, a wow, and the peak of it is right over the target. Then I will do the same thing, turn 90 degrees. And you gotta swing slowly, that's another thing. You, you, when you go over the target to pinpoint it, you don't wanna swing fast. It gives you the maximum, the maximum signal when you swing slowly and go right over the target. So again, I've created two lines at the intersection of which is the target. But just, shoving in like this. You know, you can see how people, a lot of times people with coils like this, they'll get a, a target and they'll end up digging a great big old crater and fishing around. One of the things too that I wanted to talk about was pinpointers. And pinpointers can, uh, you know, a lot of makers make pinpointers and for a coin digging, pinpointing is great and very important and very useful. But for 
gold nuggets, a lot of times pinpointers aren't sensitive enough to see small nuggets. So you can get in there and your machine hears it, but you go fishing around with your pinpointer and maybe the, it can't even see the target or it can only see it if it's virtually almost touching the target. So although I own a good pinpointer, I almost never use it when I'm digging nuggets because the machine is so much more sensitive than the pinpointer. Now there are occasionally times when you want a pinpointer when you're out nugget hunting, if you come over some gigantic target, um, your machine will sound off from a long ways and you'll have a hard time figuring out where it is. And the pinpointer actually, because it's less sensitive than your machine, will help you find where in the hole the target is. I've seen people, and I've done it myself, dig down past a target when the target's in the wall of the thing, and you can't tell that with the wall of the hole, when you can't tell that with your metal detector, but the pinpointer will tell if you have a giant uh, target in the wall of your hole. So anyway, that's been my uh, discussion of efficiently pinpointing targets so you can get them out of the hole quickly and get the nugget quickly into your poke or if it's trash get it quickly into your trash pouch and then move on to the next target and the more targets you dig in general the more nuggets you're going to end up with at the end of the day. Now if you want to be a better prospector too and learn more about prospecting for gold because it's out here and you can find it I wrote a book about it and this book is an encyclopedia of prospecting. It has everything about how nuggets occur, you know, where to find them, how to do research, how to metal detect for gold. Uh, it has everything you need to know. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that book right now. Okay, so I wanted to tell you a little bit more about my book. Um, I wanted to be able to share the knowledge that I've gained about finding gold and, and how to be successful. And so I spent years literally writing this book, Fistful of Gold. It's more than 350 pages long, which is why I say it's an encyclopedia of everything you need to know about finding your own gold. Um, I've sold more than 8,000 copies and I've got a lot of really great feedback on it. It just is the most complete book on the market. It has information about finding gold that literally is not available in any other book that you're going to find for prospectors because I took technical stuff from geologists and other um, mineral scientists and I've translated that into language that the average guy can understand. You don't need a PhD to go out and find gold. But the information that scientists have learned over recent decades can can be of a lot of help to people. So it's in this book. Uh, if you're interested about finding gold, panning, sluicing, nugget detecting, uh, dry washing, the geology of gold deposits and how they form, it's all in here. And like I say, it's more than 350 pages long. So if you'll just go to the description underneath this video, um, you can take a look. I've got a link in there to take it to Amazon to the site where the book is sold. And I think you'll you'll really enjoy it. Take, take a look at all the people who've commented on this and have really liked the book. It has a, a very, very high rating for a book. And also, I have a, a website, my own free website that uh, you can take a look at. Um, I've got all kinds of information on here about uh, doing research and how to find gold, a lot of good information, stuff that basically uh, couldn't fit into my book. And so I put it on this website and I have a, a link also for that in the video description. So take a look in the description and you can click on the, uh, the link and it'll take you to my website. And finally, if you like this presentation, I've got a lot more coming out. Here's a three and a half ounces of gold that I found a couple years back in one area. Um, I've got a lot more of these videos coming on gold, gemstones, hard rock, placer, a lot of metal detecting. There'll be lots of metal detecting stuff. So if you really enjoyed this, click the subscribe button and then tick the notification bell off and YouTube will let you know when I publish new stuff. And hit the like button as well. And please comment on these videos because I'm interested in what you have to say. And I promise to answer any questions you have. So if you are wondering about anything or think maybe I didn't cover something, 
thoroughly enough in a video, then let me know and, and I'll be happy to try and help you out and give you whatever information you need. So thanks a lot and um, hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you again real soon.